Facebook, the terrible platform no one wants to admit they use. They're at it again, proving once more why so many people think it's a hot mess by banning discussions of Linux and locking accounts of those who talk about it. I still do have a Facebook account, but I only have it to promote my content and my podcasts like Destination Linux, which are about Linux. So as you can imagine, this caught my eye. DistroWatch reported this week that beginning on January 19th, Facebook's internal policymakers decided to label Linux as malware and label groups associated with Linux as being cybersecurity threats. DistroWatch also reports that any posts mentioning distrowatch.com would be blocked, and multiple groups associated with Linux in some way or another have either been shut down or had many of their posts removed. Users have been saying they can no longer post about Linux on Facebook or share links to DistroWatch. Some people have reported their accounts have been completely locked, and others have said that they have had their accounts limited. Facebook is not a great example for really anything other than a complete lack of privacy and bad policies, in my opinion. But to make things worse, Facebook's overzealous ban on some Linux topics in the name of community standards and protection of its users is a mountain made of irony. Facebook runs a lot of its infrastructure on Linux, and have posted jobs like looking for Linux developers on many occasions. They seem to have also decided that it wasn't enough irony, so to add to this dumbness, uh, they also just a couple of weeks ago uh, announced that they would be removing fact checkers. They claim that they did that to offer more free speech, but I guess that is, of course, unless you want to talk about Linux. Jesse or Ladislav from DistroWatch, not sure which because the article is a bit vague there, tried to get the ban repealed, but Facebook told them that Linux-related material is staying on the cybersecurity filter. And apparently, for good measure, they decided to lock their Facebook account. The reason given for why DistroWatch was blocked was the post may facilitate the sharing, creation, or hosting of malicious software, end quote. So apparently, news about Linux releases is somehow malware to Facebook while at the same time they use Linux to power their infrastructure, and to such a degree they even have a promotional page for their contributions to the Linux platform. Hey, would you look at that? ButterFS, a Linux file system. OomD, a user space out-of-memory killer for Linux. PSI, for Linux resource pressure metrics. And on, and on. I could kind of get blocking some Linux stuff, like Kali Linux or Parrot OS, for example, because both of those are technically cybersecurity tools. But even then, it's kind of a stretch because they are they're for ethical hacking. And Kali Linux has been around for almost as long as Facebook. So why all of a sudden? Now, there is some good news here, at least for now. As I was recording this, the register reported that the ban policy has been lifted. I tested this with uh, posting the distrowatch.com, and it was not restricted for me. This is good news overall, but it seems the only reason the change happened was because a big fuss was made with all the news websites covering it, making Facebook look stupid. When DistroWatch appealed the restriction, Facebook locked their account for questioning them, and only when a bunch of news sites picked up the story, they decided to do anything about it. Ultimately, the outcome is good, but it doesn't give much confidence for Facebook. Though, to be fair, I haven't had any confidence in Facebook for about a decade at this point. Uh, because of their policies and all the stuff they've done over the years. As for DistroWatch, they've decided to start posting their news updates on Mastodon because it's decentralized. Seems like a logical response to me. I, too, am on Mastodon, as well as the rest of Tux Digital. You can find links to our accounts on tuxdigital.com slash follow. We're also on Blue Sky, which is another decentralized social media platform, and we're also on, well, almost everything. Not everything, but almost everything. So you can go to that link, tuxedos.com slash follow to follow us wherever you want. Even Facebook, apparently now, I guess, maybe, maybe. While Facebook has been having a breakup with Linux, albeit a temporary one, I recently made a a reaction video to James Lee breaking up with Adobe. And unlike Facebook, there's a great Linux twist in this one. So check that out. 